People like Sarodi and Ayam are missing bits from their skeletons. It's a condition known as Arnold syndrome, and it affects more than the collarbones. Many people with Arnold's have holes in the tops of their heads, just like newborn babies before the skull knits together. Hello, Professor Dr. Peter Baton has been studying the syndrome for more than 30 years. Can I first of all see your hands? Can you do this for me? I'm people with this, the uh, gene in this country uh, have a bulgy forehead, pointed face. In the clavicles, there can be anything from absent to totally normal. Usually, and they can be asymmetrical. Usually what you find is a bit of asymmetry on one side and a bit of clavicle uh, ab absent on the other. OK, my love, can I have a look at your shoulders first of all, these clavicles? There we are. And this one's got a bit of a bump. So can you do that for me? That's it. Can you do that? Arnold syndrome varies in severity. Neuron Arnold can pop out what's left of her collarbone. This is quite sticks out quite a long way, doesn't it? Doesn't hurt though. This X-ray shows the missing section. But in extreme cases, people with Arnold's can do this. Oh, you've got a soft spot on the top of your head, all the way back there. The condition, although recognisable, is comparatively mild. In other words, technically, there's no biological pressure against it. If you've got the gene, the probability is you'll hand it on to half your children, they will survive and hand it on to half of theirs. And they will recognise each other in the street. People would come to me and say, which animal are you? And, we, and I would tell them where I am. Or they would tell me again immediately where I am. And I have to ask them, who are they? Allahu Akbar, Allah. Everyone in the Cape who has the syndrome is descended from one man, Arnold himself. He was a sailor, perhaps Javanese or Chinese, and he arrived in the Cape in the 19th century. He took seven wives and had many children. Now, about a thousand of his descendants carry his mutation. The mutation was discovered in 1997. It disrupts a gene called CBFA1, which switches other genes on and off in the cells that make bones. Arnold's mutation stops this. The result is missing bone. 